Okay, adventurers, we are about to go shopping. I got something that we have to pick up today, so uh, we are at Lowe's, and I have come with some help because I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so you might be wondering why we're at Lowe's and what are we picking up? I have had my van for a little bit under a year now. And during this time, I have been driving around with a no build van built. Now, I've been documenting this process more recently, sharing with you all the different things that I have inside. I've been moving things around kind of as I go to figure out exactly how I want my configuration to look. And now, finally, we're going to be building a more permanent bed. And there's a couple reasons for this that I'll explain to you whenever we get home. But for now, dad is with me, helping me pick out all the materials we're gonna need to do that because he has expertise and I don't. So this is a learning thing for me. So right now we're getting our legs and this is gonna be a really cool system. So stick around if you wanna see how we build my new bed. Okay, so dad has these right now, and these are gonna be what we use to secure the legs. These are pretty cool, and dad is telling me this is gonna be easier. And if we decide later on we wanna do something different with the height, we can with these. So that's what these are. And then down here, we have the different kinds of legs. I wanna do something that's a little bit more square, I think, even though these are so cute. But um, I wanna be able to put a little door on the back, and these won't work for that. So square, here we come. currently just kind of waiting for them to move one of the barricades so that we can get in and uh, find what we need. But uh, dad kind of knows what we already need, so he's helping me so much. We got the big sheet of plywood and now we're off to the two by fours and dad is checking them to make sure that they're not bendy like the things that we don't mention on this channel and uh, stacking them on board here. So we're going to build the frame out of these and then this is going to go on top. Of course, it's going to be cut down because the bed is only going to be about 26 inches across and then I think 14 and a half inches tall and uh, then it's gonna be 74 inches long that's the exact dimensions of my previous bed only a little taller because I needed a little bit more space Okay, so now we're looking at hinges because on that end piece, we want it to be able to pop out and then stay in place. Now that's a little difficult and we don't know exactly what's going on. So we're looking through all of these different things, trying to find something. And uh, this is gonna be an interesting part. So dad is looking right now. I found some cute little ones over here and uh, somewhere in the middle, we're gonna figure this out. It's time to go check out all of our stuff. Okay, so that's it. We have everything now. We're about to load it up in the truck and then take it home and then get started on this. Not tonight, but um, sometime really soon. So yay, this is going to be a big project and a huge upgrade for my van. So uh, I'll see you guys whenever work starts.
Okay, adventurers, it is now time to start the heavy lifting, so to speak. Dad has already made a few steps to making this happen by cutting some of our other lumber, but now it's time for us to cut this big guy. So we need it to be 74 inches long, and then it's gonna be 26 inches across. So right now, Dad is actually marking everything, and we're going to help him out with just the, the actual action of pushing it through. But, um, I'm not the best when it comes to saws and I don't feel comfortable doing this myself. So that is why I'm having dad help me today. It just makes me feel way more comfortable and way more safe to do it. Now, again, you can get lumber cut at Home Depot if you have your correct specs and also Lowe's. So keep that in mind if you're wanting to do this project and uh, yeah, come and join me on this adventure. It's about to be real fun. Okay, so what we just did there was cut up the wood and dad actually used this standard painter's tape. And I didn't know why, but he said that by putting this on the cut line, it actually made it a little bit more smooth. And I think you can tell by looking at it that it definitely worked out that way. Look at how smooth that looks. That is such a good clean edge and it did really, really, really well. So that's a pretty awesome little hack there, just using a painter's tape. Now again, guys, don't be afraid to ask for help if you don't have expertise in doing this or you're afraid of the power saws because I, like yourself, am doing the same thing. I think that's the best thing that you can do. There's all these projects that we can accomplish on our own, but when in doubt, ask, no big deal. There's nothing wrong with that. It's better safe than sorry, especially when it comes with something so uh, definite like a saw. Okay, now this one, this one I've used before. This is a chop saw and uh, it's pretty easy. All you do is you just like push this and then pull down and it cuts your wood. So I may be able to use this one today. Okay, what dad is doing right now is he's actually lining up the frame along the top part and then he's going to mark it and then we're going to chop it at the end so it fits correctly. So these were originally a two by four and he split them in two. Now, as you can see, everything's kind of laid out right now. And then what we're gonna do is actually put together the frame first, and then we're going to attach the top. And then we'll be able to start working on the legs. I am so excited about this because this is going to vastly improve my quality of sleep every night. And again, this is 26 inches. So it, it doesn't look very big, but this is the exact same size as the bed that I had in there before that was plenty big for me. And so I'm going to be taking this and putting it on this side again. And then I have a really good mattress that I'm going to be adding to it that I'll show you later. And the bed itself will be on a different video because I'm going to go over how we actually take the bed. We cut the bed. We recover the bed. It's a whole process. So I want to make sure I can go into a little bit more detail with that also. But uh, just know it is going to be plush and comfortable and I am excited to get that good night's sleep. Okay, so what dad's doing right now is he's actually pre-drilling the holes so that he can then put the screws in and that way it doesn't split is what he told me. So that's going to make it better because then we're gonna have less places that it can break later on. So that's kind of what he's doing right now and he's doing it on the ends first and then the middle ones. So just an update. I'm learning so much today. 
Okay, so right now dad's trying to figure out where exactly these little center pieces need to go. Again, it's 74 inches long. And so he's marking it right now as to where those will be best utilized to give me even support. Okay, what dad did was he actually made sure that everything lined up and then he pre-drilled a couple of holes. He's about to sink down some screws and that will anchor this side over here and then he'll work his way down. Now it is time for the legs. And so dad has these little brackets that we picked up that you saw early in the video. And we're trying to figure out how these are gonna work. Okay, so this is what we have. This is actually the part that you screw the leg into. And it has these four little holes that we have to pre-drill. Now, this needs an extra support here. So dad is actually about to cut this to about this size and then screw it in to make it secure. And then he can screw down into it. And then we have a corner for a corner post. Now, the nice thing about these particular legs is that if we decide that we wanna make the bed taller later on, we can get taller legs. So they'll screw in just the same and it'll be super easy to change them out. Also, if we decide that we want to go with a different style later because they have all of those fancy ones. So so really cool and I really like that dad came up with this particular idea for my bed because it's going to make it so much easier. Okay guys, so I am in the van as you can see and we just did the little test where we checked out what we thought of the feeling of the bed before we go any further. So the reason I got these is so that we could chop them down a little bit. They're a little bit longer than I need. So we're gonna take about an inch of these off and see where that kind of puts us. Now, another thing that we're gonna be doing is I have this floor that I just installed. Go with me on this. I may be removing the portions that go under the bed just to give me that extra little bit of space because like everything else in the van, every inch counts. So that's something that we're gonna think about. But dad is about to cut the ends of the legs off to make sure they're nice and even. And then we're gonna see kind of where we go from there. I'm loving the bed though. It's going to be awesome. You can probably see it's kind of hot out here today, but um, I do think we're gonna go ahead and take up these two strips. I think it's gonna sit a little bit better and it's gonna allow the legs to have a little bit more of a grip, which is gonna be super important while going on some of the bumpy roads. Okay, so now we're gonna put down this. We removed everything that was on this side. We still have the aisle and we kept this because this helps with my knees whenever I have to get things from under the bed.
another day and another project on this wonderful humid Texas morning. We have actually removed the legs and we're pulling out the platform. We're going to prime and paint them. I selected this white color which will actually really open up the space but also will seal the wood. So I'm really excited to keep this moving because as you can see this has been quite the endeavor but it is well worth it because it's going to give a lot of support, structure, stabilization, and also more permanency to my build. Now again, I can remove this at any time whenever I want to, but it's going to feel more like a real bed now. Yay! Okay, so the first layer of primer is laid. Is it pretty? No, and that's okay because we have a lot to do, but in between the layers of primer, we need to wait at least 20 minutes so it can soak into the wood. Then we can kind of see what we need to do next. That was one whole can right there of primer. Ugh! My fingers are already tired and we are nowhere near finished. But I'm not sure if you can see this or not, but do you see these dark, menacing looking clouds? As soon as I started painting, they started rolling in. So we may have to play this by ear. Like, look at this. This all came in after I started working. What is this? But you've probably heard me say this before. You never know what to expect in van life. So it is only fitting that now the wind is starting to blow and potentially the rain is going to come. And this has been a wild ride trying to get this bed set up so that I can leave on my trip. But uh, you know, just one more thing. No big deal, no big deal. Another day, another outfit, and the same project. As you can see here, it is painted. I used two cans of spray paint and a can and a half of primer, and it still is not quite where I want it to be, but trial and error, we actually purchased some additional rolling paint, so I'm gonna be using that. And uh, yeah, the weather looks a little bit better today, so this shouldn't be bad. Every day is an adventure in van life. Now, in order for us to drill these holes, Dad suggested first laying down some tape so it eliminates some of the kickback and then also protects the bottom just a little bit whenever we go through. So uh, let's lay some painter's tape. Let's look at this. I have a few holes just so that air can circulate a little bit under my mattress. Nothing crazy, but this will help in the long run. Yeah, look at that. I need to do a little bit of work on some of these that have a little hangover, like this one, just to kind of make sure that that's all poking downward, but all in all, yeah, I'm pretty pleased. And more so that I did it myself. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so these are the brackets that we're going to be using with the table. So dad's kind of getting the lay of the land with them. And then they're going to be going right down here. And dad got us a new piece of wood for that. It's a little bit more sturdy. So we're just trying to figure out how exactly these work. And because they're brand new, they're pretty tight. So here they are. And dad, where did you get these? I ordered these. I'm not sure who ordered them. I think they're Amazon. Okay, well, I will make sure I link these in the description box below after we have played with them. Spoke will hold 500 pounds. And then you guys, if you're interested in those, can check them out. Now, this is the interesting part. We were going to place a solid sheet right here, but the more we looked at it, the more that kind of didn't make sense. So, Dad's finding the best place to mount this so that the table can flip up, and then I can use it when I'm outside the van, outside the main doors here. So, it'll flip up like this. So that's what we're working on. Okay, what dad is doing right now is he is actually pre-drilling the hole so we can stick the brackets on. 
he has a lot more expertise in this again. I am learning as I go and that's what made it possible for me to drill those holes into the top. I had no idea what I was doing otherwise. So as you go, you can learn, that's kind of cool. But uh, yeah, he's over here working and I'm about to be joining him. Okay, so now that it's installed, this is what we'll do when we close it. See how much easier that was that way? Okay, so that gives me hope that I can do this. Dad's gonna mount the other one. He's already marked it right here. And then we'll be putting the shelf on it, which will, again, pop out. Okay, I'm really excited. That was the full cutting and everything. So now dad is taking these off and he's going to fit it to the pop-out piece. And then there's one step left after we get this secured and that is painting it. I wanna go ahead and seal this because I'm in a lot of moist climates and so I don't want anything to happen to it. And then uh, I have one other thing that I'm going to possibly be mounting on this, but that'll be on a different video. So uh, you'll have to stay tuned for that one. Okay guys, the table is now installed. And if you were watching how dad actually installed this, he put these two little brackets on. Now, whenever we're ready for it to come down, we'll just release and we'll push it down slowly. Now, dad and I did find out that whenever we release, we need to raise this up just a little bit to get it to fit in there. And the way that this fits into the van is absolutely perfect. I pulled it out just a little bit so I can paint it, but all in all, we are done. It is hot and really steamy outside right now, and we have been on quite the journey to make this a reality. I have one more coat of paint to go on the table, and then we are finished. I am so excited because this is the best van bed ever. Now, this van build is going to be one of the biggest things that I change in the van, and definitely one of the hardest projects that I have worked on. But now we have legs that can be changed out if we decide to go taller or shorter. We have a table that can easily flip out. So now I can use that for prep work. I can also work from my laptop here because it's the perfect height. Hi guys. And then also something else I like about this that I'm gonna share with you in a future upload is the ability to use my shower tent at the back end of my van and now have this as a table to put my things on. Obviously still a little dirty under here, but I have these bins that will easily fit underneath the bed. And then soon you will see my new mattress. And whenever I do upload the video of the mattress itself, I'll explain a little bit more in depth as to why we moved away from the cot that's been carrying us on all these adventures thus far and into this specific bed. And I think it'll all make a little bit more sense. But today I really wanted to focus on the build itself and showing you that it's okay to not know how to do everything. If you have somebody who can help you or you get the wood pre-cut, it's a lot easier and we can all learn along the way, which is what I love about my personal van life. I want to know what goes into my van. I want to know how I can do it. And by seeing my dad helping me today, I definitely learned a lot more things that I can apply to van life further down the road. So I hope that you've enjoyed this journey. I'm going to get back to painting and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! By the way, if you haven't seen my no build, uh, you can see what the cot's all about on that video. It's been very good to me and I definitely still recommend it for anyone who isn't looking for something like this. Check out the video in the description below.